love those walking sounds. Ooh. Hmm. Little peepholes. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Oh, there must be a, a body right through there. It's a huge puddle of blood. Oh! We can see how an animal died, too. It's from a skull. Huh. Yeah, this is where they kept animal pens. You can see this pen has been broken. What is that a skull of? I guess we'll find out. Pet her here. One swing. Get through the skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah, come on before she kicks off. <laughs> you all right there, sir? Well, never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. Ugh. <sighs> they couldn't handle it. Fair enough, I wouldn't be able to either. Who are they? Well, they've been identified. Didn't they say Charlie? That's probably Charlie. Yeah, slaughtering the... Cow? Bull? Ooh. That's a new instrument in the music that I haven't heard. I think those are a bunch of chickens in there. There's a loose one. Yeah, at this point in time, they had a lot of livestock. Chickens and a whole cow. Some pigs. Is this bargain? No, this is really early on. A bitter cold. So it doesn't have you name who the person was on the crew because they weren't a person or on the crew manifest. Other than that, they have all the other information that an entry normally has. A large cow was slaughtered for its meat. Okay. Take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped, and see to the last rites. Wait. Who are they talking about here? They're not talking about the cow, right? Take him to the Carpenters get him wrapped and see to the last rites. Stunner brain. Come on, before she kicks up. Yeah, they say take him to the carpenters, and then before she kicks up. Pretty sure you wouldn't perform last rites on a cow normally, anyway. But yeah, the she he thing, I think, really seals it that they're definitely not talking about the cow. But who are they talking about then? So the person, the person throwing up is Charlie. Never been on a farm, Charlie. Charles? Charles Minor? The bosun's mate? Hmm. 
We have a problem. There's two Charles. There's no one literally called Charlie, but there's two people called Charles. Charles Minor, the bosun's mate from France. And then there's Charles Hirschstick, a midshipman from England. Did Charles talk? In that dialogue? Like, I don't think so. Or I can't tell anyway. What about, like, what you look like and who you're next to? Like, are you next to the bosun? Where is the bosun? Uh, there you are. I was thinking maybe the bosun's mate would be right next to him, but... I don't know, maybe not. Okay, I think I figured it out. So... One is the bosun's, uh, bosun's mate, and the other one is a midshipman. It says in the description for a midshipman, usually of privileged status. I think that goes hand in hand with the never been on a farm before, Charlie. They're privileged, so they probably never worked on a farm. Yes. So, oh shit. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. All right, hold on. What do you have on your shoulder? Is that a monkey? Oh, I should have gone over here. What is happening here? Okay, hold on. So it was in a bitter cold. Oh wait, actually, I didn't find their bodies, so I'm not going to find them in this list. But I could do to the I could do this other people were present thing. You. So you're not the bosun's mate. You're the other Charlie, the midshipman Charles Hirschstick. Yes. Same as the other fellow. Some lung disease, not a consumption. <coughs> Made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <coughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. Some lung disease? Probably picked it up at the Lascar house? So this, I think, is the doctor. And I think there's only one doctor on board, so it should be pretty easy to identify him. Supposed to be able to identify them? Could they be the doctor? Oh no. I mean, actually, oh yes, they must be the doctor, because this is Martin Parrot, the third mate. And this certainly isn't the doctor back here. Yeah, and they look pretty fancy. They got slicked back hair and a mustache. That's what a doctor looked like in the 1800s. Right? I don't know. <laughs> Surgeon Henry Evans. There's also Surgeon's mate. Anybody else? Well, they have an artist on board, Edward Spratt. I 
Okay, so it's either the surgeon or the surgeon's mate. I assume the surgeon would assist, or the surgeon's mate would assist the surgeon if they needed help. And consultations like this would be done by the doctor themselves. So I think it's Henry Evans. Wait, been an unknown fate. We've we found their body. Did we find their body? Oh no, they disappeared in escape. I'm supposed to be able to know who you are? Can I say how they died? Like, is there an option for some unknown lung disease? <laughs> Electrocuted, expired, exploded. Illness? Poisoned? Yeah, it must be illness. Now, hold on. How am I supposed to know who you are? Is it, is anybody mentioned some names here? Same as the other fellow, some lung disease, not consumption, made worse by the cold. Will it spread? No, there's no names here. Oh, this is the first time we've seen the uh, Formosan, Formosan royalty. The first time we've seen them. We've mostly been seeing later memories, and at that point they seem to be completely gone from the picture. But this early on, they were still here. So judging by the picture, yeah, there's two guards, and then, I, I don't know, husband and wife, maybe, father and daughter, something like that. Obviously, they're royalty, and these are the guards. I wonder if anybody's creeping around the sides. <laughs> Nope. I wonder if I could spot anything. Ah. Probably the other one that died from the illness as well. There was a lot of very important information in that dialogue. They mentioned a name, but also there were two languages that only fit a small number of the crew, I think. Which is... <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what the second language was. The first one, I think, was Russian. The second one, I don't know, maybe Arabic? I'm not sure. But how many people are here from Russia? 
One, two, three. Just three? Yeah, so that narrows it down a lot. I think the second language was Persian? There's only one person on this list from Persia, and I just googled the Persian language looking at some of the characters in it, and I think it's what we saw. We need to double check, but yeah, this is a, a Topman. Omid Ghoul? Topman? What's a Topman? Higher rated seaman specializing in work above the deck in the sails and rigging. I like the names of the, the different positions that sailors have. They're very self-explanatory and straightforward. Midshipman, steward, topman. So uh, this person here is the one that died. You? Two people looking after him. Playing cards. These three people. You look familiar. Who are you again? Oh, no. Never mind. Anybody I recognize? Nope. Oh, there's another body just hanging out here. And, and they have an interesting tattoo on their arm. That is probably going to be important. And I'll probably completely forget about it. Okay. Saeed, get up. Get up, get up. So they must be talking about the person who died, saying... You know, telling them to get up, so their name is Saeed. Okay, the more I look up Persian writing, the more I think that that's actually not Persian. No, I don't think that is. Okay. Well, let's at least identify the person who died. That's easy enough. A tattoo, a picture of like feminine figure and a dress. Let's look around some more, too. Actually, are they... Are they dead? Or are they just, like, sleeping? Because there's another one over here. I see some legs coming out, like... I don't know, I feel like it'd be weird to sleep completely covered. Probably a body. Oh, there's a number there. There's numbers on all of them, but yeah, there's... I think they might be sleeping. There's a lot of them. What do those numbers signify? 59... what? Is that... Oh, is that... Their, um... Their number on the manifest? Right? Like, is this no person number... 39? Probably. That would make a lot of sense. Who's person 39? Um, G, G Zhang, I'm probably totally mispronouncing that. They're a topman from China. This will check out if no people, no, none of the really important people are sleeping here. Because obviously like captains and stuff would not sleep somewhere like this. They have their own quarters. 59, just a seaman. George Shirley. Yeah, I think that's what this is. But, problem is, we can't figure out who they are because we can't see their face. <laughs> right? We don't know who, like, we know who's probably sleeping in their own bunk. But, I don't know what they look like. Ooh, except you. Hello. Am I supposed to be able to identify you? I am. Oh, you're the one that died of the illness just a little bit later. 
So you're sick at this moment. And you are in number 51. Whoops. 51 is Renfrid Rachub from India. Renfrid Rachub. Wait, 50, 51. The way this list scrolls really messes with my head because I'm used to things scrolling in a way that's like kind of smooth where you scroll down and it only goes down one entry but a single a single movement of the scroll wheel actually makes the page completely change so like the bottom is 50 or let's use the top the top is 42 if i scroll up just once then it starts at 41 going down so every single page is completely new so i end up scrolling really fast through it because that's how I usually scroll through things, and then realizing I just went through everybody, and I, I don't know, it just gets confusing. Renfred Rajub. Anybody else have their face showing? Anybody want to make my job easy? They're kind of... Yeah, they're looking over what's happening over here. Be hard to concentrate on playing cards when somebody is dying or dead right next to you. So, the dead person is Saeed. Now, let's say they, they must have died from the illness as well. I think it's fair to say. Illness and who has the name of Saeed? Ah, here we go. Solomon Said from India. Aha! Three more fates correct! Heck yeah! It's very satisfying. I love the way the music makes noise as things complete. Okay, I think we can identify these people, maybe, or at least narrow them down. Right, does the game think I can identify this person? Yes. Do they think I can identify them? Yes. This person was talking to... Well, wait a minute. Wait, 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 hold on. They were talking to them in whatever the not Russian or English language was. And this person's Indian. Um, Hindi? Is that what Hindi looks like? I believe that's what they speak in India. Hindi? Yes. Yep. Bingo. That was definitely Hindi. Okay, so... This person is fair to say also from India. Um, I think there was a lot of people from India on the manifest though, so that might not narrow it down that much. We have two people... Identified already, right? Said and Renfrid? Yeah, so it can't be them. So then there's these two. Anyone else? Uh, yeah, there's another one. Zungi Safi, ship steward from India. Hmm. Yeah, so that narrows them down to th three people, one of three people. I would bet it's probably a seaman because all the other people were seamans and I think they're the friends of them. So 
makes sense that their friends would also be other seamen. So it's probably Abraham Akbar or William Wasim. But which one? And about the person speaking Russian. Yeah, I'm supposed to be able to identify you too. What was the dialogue again? Oh, this one. Wait, was this one? Yes. So someone's saying in Russian, stop your cheating? Wait. Wait, stop. I'm a little bit confused here. Stop your cheating and worry about yourself. That's two separate people speaking Russian. But this person... Or, uh... Wait, I'm getting super confused. Who is speaking Hindi to them? <laughs> Who is speaking Hindi and who's speaking Russian? Is it these... Is the Russian dialogue that I'm seeing from these people? There's three people playing cards. Are there just three Russians on board? If so, then that's probably a group of Russians. Yep, a topman and two seamen from Russia. And... And that's it. Yeah, okay. So the Russian dialogue is from these people, two of these people, and these are all Russians, probably. Fair to say. Fair to say it's likely, or at least... Yeah, no, no, it's really likely. I'm looking at what they're wearing. Does a topman wear different clothes than a seaman? These people look like they're wearing the same clothes. This person looks like they're wearing something else. So if I had to guess, I'd say they're probably the topman, but I'm not sure. They're blurry, right? Are, are they all blurry? Yeah, they're all blurry, so game doesn't think I'm ready to discover them yet. Okay. Those are the Russians. This person who's dying is definitely Saeed. So... The person saying, get up, is probably the one that's like directly in front of their face. Right? This one? I think that's fair to say. This game is hard. It's very interesting, though. It's it's really fun but taxing to be doing all this detective work. Yeah, stop your cheating. They're talking about cards. Worry about yourself. Talking about cards. Blah blah blah. That's totally irrelevant to these three people here. Saeed, get up, drink something. Yep, and they're saying that in Hindi. So they're probably Indian. So this person is one of those two people. And this is probably the other one. Oh, wait, I just realized. Hey, they're sitting in um, a, th a thing. X? X is in 10, like the Roman numeral, but these aren't in Roman numerals. What does X mean? Um, who's number 10 on the manifest? Does that make any sense if it's number 10? That's a map. <laughs> that doesn't help. Number 10. Number 10 is Winston Smith, a carpenter from America. No, what, is, what does Axe mean? What the heck? Um... That is... X does mean 10 in Roman numerals, right? Like I is 1, V is 5. X in Roman numerals. I don't think it's a Roman numeral. Yeah, X is 10. Okay, I've done some research and I think I've come to a pretty reasonable conclusion. It might be a little bit hard to explain, but... 
Um, if we look at these two people that I'm trying to identify, both of which I believe are listed on the manifest as being from India, I was trying to figure out some sort of like defining characteristic. And one thing I focused in on is the hat. This person has a hat on. This person does not. And then I looked at their names. One is Abraham Akbar and the other is William Wasim. So um, Akbar is a common name amongst Muslim people. And so I started looking at like what kind of hats and religious um, coverings do Muslim people wear on their heads. And one that I found, I hope this is actually what they're wearing. If it isn't, sorry. Also, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but I think what they might be wearing is a Takia, Takia, T-A-Q-I-Y-A-H. Yeah, that's commonly worn. It's a religious a covering on the head worn by a lot of people who are Muslim. And Akbar is a Muslim name, common Muslim name. So I think this one is Akbar. And the other one must be Wasim. Near the bottom. Oh, this list cuts out people that you've already identified. So this is actually a cut down list from what you see in the crew manifest. Removes people you've already identified because one person can't be two people, <laughs> which makes a lot of sense. Abraham Akbar. I think that's them. And I believe you are William Wasim. God, I hope I'm right. Apparently they were crushed by a terrible beast in some other memory. Sorry. D do I have your cause of death? No, we haven't found their body yet. Okay. Whew. That took a bit of research, but I think I'm right. God, I still feel like I could maybe figure out who these Russians are. Maybe. But the game doesn't think I can, so fair enough. So who have I not identified, or what bodies have I not found in this chapter? Wait, part three murder. Am I missing anything? I don't know, this is a blank page, but it doesn't say part anything. But shouldn't there be a conclusion if I finish this chapter? not really quite sure, and I still don't quite know what that means. Is that just number of people identified? I was just about to end the episode, but I just noticed something that I want to follow up on, at least just to see where it goes. There's some blood on the ground, and it seems to lead back here. Oh, I see a body. I wonder what the purpose of this thing is. This walkway, like in between the... The... I don't know, they're not really rooms. In between like the main part of the, the mid-deck or whatever this place is called and the hole? What's the purpose of that? Anyway, okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far and when I return... We're going to look at this sort of hidden body. <laughs>